डॉक्टर आई एम स्पेंडिंग लॉन्ग टाइम्स इन द टॉयलेट आई नीड टू पुट लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर टू स्टार्ट द मोशन आई एम फीलिंग दैट मोशन इज स्टकअप वंस आई स्टार्ट मोशन सडनली आई गेट स्टॉप स्टिल आई फील दैट देर इज लॉट ऑफ लेफ्ट आई एम नॉट एबल टू कंप्लीटली वैक्यूएट दैट्स इनकम्प्लीट इवैक्यूएशन आई एम हैविंग अ हार्ड स्टूल आई नीड टू पुट लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर टू पुश दम and i am taking laxative once i stop laxative i am again at the same place where i am this is a type of constipation which is known as dysenergic defecation welcome friends to our channel the colorectal surgeon we are today going to discuss about dysenergic defecation also known as obstructive defecation syndrome this is a type of constipation where surgery and medication never going to work dysenergic defecation is nothing but it is an incoordination of muscles and nerves of your rectum and anus normally what happens is if we have some amount of stools significant amount of stools reaches to the rectum then it gives a signals to your brain and that brain senses that there is a stool and if we have that urge then we reach to social acceptable place in a toilet when we sit and relax then brain gives a direction to your rectum to push and anus to relax so this coordinated activity happens together then your motion or stool get evacuated and this is absolutely normal in most of the human being but when you have typical kind of dysenergic defecation then you will have sense of urge to pass motion but when you go make yourself comfortable on the toilet seat you will feel that you will start the defecation but either the push pressure from the rectum is inadequate so motion is not coming out or the anus has to relax completely so that gates are open and stool has to evacuate that in the relaxation is inadequate either because of inadequate push pressure or because of inadequate relaxation your motion is getting stuck up just above the anus and now you need to put lot of pressure from above or you need to assist with different different maneuver this is typically kind of constipation known as dysenergic constipation dysenergic defecation this is very common nowadays because of a change in lifestyle sedentary lifestyle or dietary patterns most common causes of dysenergic defecation are the stressful life dietary habit or non mindful of defecation that is sitting in the toilet and seeing the mobile and not coordinating your brain and your gut and your rectum or having any kind of perianal surgery any kind of perianal injury all leads to initiation of dysenergic defecation and over the period of loop forms and it gets aggravated if we are having typical symptom of dysenergic defecation we need to visit a colorectal surgeon or gastroenterologist who is expert in managing this kind of dysenergic defecation what exactly happen when we reach to a expert the expert will understand your history and if the history is in favor of dysenergic defecation they may need to ask you about your lifestyle about your diet and also most important is stool diary for a period of week or one month how is that may need to do the parietal examination that is physical examination where the surgeon puts the digit in the rectum to understand is there any other problem if there is not having significant other problem and it goes in favor of dysenergic defecation in that scenario the set of investigation mean to solve this most important is anal manometry the anorectal manometry one of the advanced investigation where a small pencil size of tip of a test catheter will be put into the rectum through your anus which has been designed in such a way that it has a multiple sensor 
when you have been told to do certain maneuver like pushing or you are relaxing or cuffing lot of time they give some amount of pressure to sense that how much is urge all that can be uh, documented on your computer and that manometry will also identify is the coordination between the rectum and anus while act of defecation what exactly is the problem is the relaxation is a problem or your rectal push pressure is a problem this will be taken in the graphic form on the computer so that your specialist can explain you what exactly happening other set of test is a balloon expulsion test where the saline filled balloon will be kept in the rectum and they will create a sense of fecal matter in the rectum and they will ask you to push if you are having a dysenergic defecation you will fail to push in a coordinated manner within 1 minute that's classical of dysenergic defecation or outlet obstruction syndrome other than that may need to do mri defecography it is an test where the barium paste will be put inside the rectum and they will do the screening mri while you are trying to defecate the intent is to understand the defecation process and also is there anything abnormal like rectocele rectal intersusception uh, it, we can understand based on rectal prolapse we can understand based on mr defecograph if you are having less urge or you are not getting frequent defecation in that scenario transit study also helpful to understand how is your colon transit based on the test if it is a dysenergic defecation in that scenario your standard treatment for constipation such as increasing activity or taking the dietary fibers or having laxative never going to work or give some amount of satisfaction and completely never resolves as soon as you stop this your constipation or dysenergic defecation will come back again in that scenario what is the best modality of treatment for dysenergic defecation for dysenergic defecation the at present available standard modality of treatment is biofeedback therapy biofeedback therapy is nothing but a reinforcement of your brain in a such a way that there will be a coordinated act of defecation going to happen how that will be done the therapist they will put a saline filled probe which has been usually used for manometry will be inside the anus and rectum and exactly they point out that what was your problem if suppose you are having inadequate relaxation they will train you over the period of 30 to 45 minute how to relax your anal muscle or if suppose you are having a uh, less pressure or push pressure is inadequate they will train you specifically how to push so by doing that session a uh, weekly subsequent 5 to 6 week if you are doing that your brain will start understanding that sense what you are lacking and at the end of 5 to 6 week of session the therapist again give a chance to evacuate your balloon by putting a balloon test a saline filled balloon and if you have coordinated you are understood and in between the two week at the home you have practice and your brain has re confirmed or re understand how to coordinate in that scenario you will be out of this dysenergic defecation if we have cured of dysenergic defecation by biofeedback in that scenario also we may need a, a special session at 3 month 6 month or 9 month 1 year to make sure that you are not going again into that loop so friend i hope you have understood dysenergic defecation and if you are feeling with such a problem visit nearest center where there is a manometry and a specialist dedicated available for a biofeedback which will be going to get rid of your constipation problem thank you